What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome. I it's actually been a good few days since I've played this game and also recorded a video on this game as well. But welcome back. I'm back on and I'm playing some Forza Horizon 5. And it <laughs> if you guys have missed the live stream when I was playing with this thing, I ended up changing it. Uh, so it's not really the same as it was. <laughs> it's not really the same as it was when I finished off the video the last time with it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a lot more bouncy this time around. It's... It's really awkward. Okay, well... I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Horizon 5. And in today's video, I get to try some of your crazy tunes that you guys have sent me. So, this series is basically... Uh, it, it works like this. You guys go over on the Discord. I can't stop laughing at this thing. It's just too funny. You guys go over on the Discord and you send me some tunes and I get to try them in some of these videos. So if you have anything interesting that you want to send me, something fun, maybe something easy to drive, difficult to drive, something that's just funny to drive, whatever it is that you guys would like to try and send me, go over to my Discord down below and send your tune over and it could get featured in the video. So that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm going to pick two of your tunes to try out for today's video. I have one already picked because... Well, you know, I, I have to pick them, obviously. Uh, so one of them is this guy who's apparently, again, advertising his tune. Um, it's a uh, it's a Golden Toge tune, but he's created the tune for a car that I really, really love. I used to love that car in Horizon 4. I think it was one of my favorite cars to drive around in, uh, in terms of, like, grip. So when they released that car into the game, uh, which is the Cayman GT4. Uh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not the Cayman GT4. That's the wrong car. Okay? It's the KTM Expo GT4. Crossbow GT4. Whatever you want to call it. But it's the KTM. I don't know why I called it Cayman because it just sounded similar. This is it here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I used to love this car when they brought this car out in Forza Horizon 4. And it was one of my favorite handling cars in the game. So, uh, I guess it still handles pretty well in this game, and this guy created a tune for it. I don't know what class is for. I don't know how he's built this car. Uh, I don't know who's, like, like, what, what am I supposed to do, basically, with this, uh, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway, and we'll try and see what it's like. So, share code 7919053111. That is it. Search. There it is. S2978. Uh, He's kept it rear-wheel drive. 774 horsepower. 678 meters of torque. Only weighs 1,000 kilos. So this should be uh, a good tune. It should be a very good tune. Uh, lateral Gs are pretty much the same as my car that I had before. But that's obviously an X-Class. So yeah, it's it's easy to add a lot of power to this thing. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can already tell how, how much this thing grips around corners. Is it going to be the fastest S2 car? He said it's the fastest. Is it? Yeah, he said it's the best car that he's had for the Golden Toge that he's ever tried. So. Or that he's made, not tried. Okay, cool. Well, let's give it a shot. So, Event Labs. Let's go to my favorites. Go to the Golden Toge track. There it is. Boom. Search it. Solo. And let's try it. I'm excited for this thing. Because like I said, I really, really like this guy. I liked it in the previous game. I liked it in this game as well when it came out uh, with the game. And then I tried it, obviously. And we had uh, a different tune before on it, which was a, a X class tune. I don't know who sent me that one, but I wanted to try it and see what it's like. So let's quickly have a look at the Golden Toge times really quick here. So the fastest S2 car that we have is the Ultimate, which I've tried that recently. Uh, if you guys have seen that video. Um, it's actually not that long ago, and it became the fastest S2 car on that track, right, on this track that I'm driving on right now. So, the 357.841 is to beat the Lamborghini Sesto Elemental, which I've done a time ages ago with it, when I wasn't as good of a driver as I am now, uh, and I did a 355.9. I think if I go again with the Sesto Elemental, I can probably improve that time and go even faster, because that thing is just ridiculous, right? The Sesto Elemental, especially the, the Forza Edition one, it's just, it's stupid. It's just so, so fast. Um... Have I put on steam steering on it? Actually, let me let me restart this. 
because I don't know if I have some steering turned on because I wasn't playing um, anything sweaty. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so sim steering on. Okay, let's finally do this. I had to restart my game as well because my graphics weren't on, on maxed out. Um, I realized as as these trees in front of me were like loading in really, really slowly. Because every time I stream the game, I have to lower my graphics to like high instead of maxed out the way I usually play. I don't know. Streamlabs just doesn't like it. I could have gone so much faster, by the way, there. First run is going to be a lot more of like a getting used to the car type of run, so... Brakes are immense. Acceleration out of the corner. Insane. I adore this car already. I adore this car already, man. It is an absolute gem. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I did not expect that at all. Not the crash, but... <laughs> not the crash, but... This thing gripping up like this, man. I, it's been such a long time since I've drive, uh, driven this car. And it is... It is incredibly satisfying driving this thing fast. The brakes are so good. Tiny taps like that, I don't really mind, but... I just need to be careful accelerating out of corners because I have to remember that this is actually rear wheel drive even though it doesn't feel like it. Well, it does feel like it, but like I'm saying, like it has so much grip that sometimes you forget that it's rear wheel drive, so when you floor it coming out of the corner, sometimes you're, you're a bit premature, or I am a bit premature when it comes to putting my foot down. So it ends up Pushing the back out just slightly. Oh my god, man. Absolutely fantastic car. It's so good. I didn't even need to leave the uh, to need to lift there. I can't even speak anymore. What a gem of a car. Man, I, it's it's so twitchy and it dr just dies at the corner so quickly. I knew that this was going to happen as well with it. Like, I knew I was going to mess up a few times though doing, doing runs with this thing. This is, like, not the best guy to, to start off. Ugh! This is not the best guy to start off this, this video with. Because I haven't played in a few days. And I just throw myself to the deep end with something really, really fast like this. It's, uh... It's not recommended. I needed something a little slower, something different to... Sort of warm me up.
the fastest car on the track. <laughs> oh my god. It took me a little while to, to sort of like get in the groove of driving this thing. And even now, I don't think I've driven it perfectly. Because there's some corners that I realized that I wasn't kind of ballsy enough, I guess, to go a little faster. That's stupid. That is so stupid. I managed to squeeze a 355.4. That is now the fastest car on the Golden Toge. I really need to redo that that uh, Lamborghini Sestolamento time because I know that the Lamborghini Sestolamento is the best handling car in this game, but it's so twitchy and hard to drive because of how how quickly it gets up to speed and how twitchy it is. This is also very twitchy, but like it's more controllable. I feel like the pa like it's what I like about this track, right? Or what I like about the Golden Toga is that it's so it's not focused on like speed. Like, you don't need a lot of speed, you need a stupid amount of grip around corners. That's pretty much what it is. And, well, this guy has it. 355.4. I kind of want to go again, just because I think I can go a little faster. But I want to go again. Let's, let's, let's go again. I'm going to try again. Just to see if I can improve on some of the areas. Because this is technically my, only, my very first run that I've done. That I went from start to finish, but obviously without crashing into like any of the walls, like significantly crashing, like a little scratch here and there, that's fine, but like not significantly crashing into anything. So let me try to do this again and go a little bit more ballsy, I guess, for some of the corners. Because for some of them, I kind of eased off a little bit too much, and I realized I've done it because I kind of wanted to finish the run, you know, I didn't want to crash or anything. That was weird. Car just tried to like just stop there or like slow down like so quickly. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna concentrate again and try to do another run.
Krass, was ab? <lacht> oh mein Gott. Oh my god. I pushed it a lot harder that time around, obviously, as you can tell. Um, I even kind of scraped off the walls a couple of times, but Jesus Christ, that was... <laughs> that was a hell of a run. Um, yeah, what can I say about this thing? I love it. I really, really do. I mean, I expected it to be quick, because I, kn I knew what the car was, right? I knew that in, like I said, in Horizon 4, it was one of the best handling cars in the game. And I guess in this game it is as well. It's built really, really well. Props to the person who sent it to me, honestly. Seriously, props to you. It's it's a really, really well built car. I don't know if this is your tune or you sent me someone else's tune, but it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really, really good tune. It's a very, very good tune. Like I said, it's incredibly twitchy to drive. It doesn't look like it from third person, but when you're inside and you're driving it, you have to do like such small movements with the wheel. But it's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant car to drive. It looks cool too as well, obviously. Entire volume made out of carbon fiber, like exposed to carbon fiber as well. It's uh, it's very, very cool. Yeah, I, I don't even know what else to say about this thing. It is by far the fastest. Like, and I know it can go into the 340s as well. Like that slide there cost me about half a second. Then there's little areas as well where I end up like hitting off the barriers and stuff like that where I could have just go, gone a tiny bit slower, you know? Or like tiny little areas. And I think this can do like a a high 340s. Which is crazy to think about because we don't really have any car, any car into the 340s. But this is sick. Very, very good tune. Absolutely love it. I think we'll need to move on, obviously, to something else and see what someone else has sent me. But uh, starting off this video with an absolute banger of a car and a banger of a tune. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Try it out yourselves, of course. The share code should have been up on the screen when I uh, when I picked the tune. So try it out yourselves. Let me know what you think. Let me know what sort of time you get on the Gold Tugger as well. Um, it takes a few practice runs. Those are the, actually the only two runs that I went from start to finish uh, where I didn't like you know, crash into a wall, like properly crash into a wall. The rest of the times, like I said, even with the ultimate, whenever I, I drove that, like it's so fast around this, like everything comes at you so quickly that your reactions have to be very, very quick. So when you're playing on a track like this, especially with the walls that sort of kind of are, are morphed together very poorly, I guess you can, you can say, that are like joined together very poorly, where they have... Um, lots of like actual edges right so this like sort of line that goes along the wall here you can see all the tiny bits of the wall that are just sort of sticking out and it's so easy to crash into those and your car just fully stops right so the two runs that i've done obviously from start to finish that you guys have seen now and the rest of the runs i've sort of crashed into a wall i think i've gone around or i've i've gone and i've restarted i'll say maybe like seven times i'll say i saw you around seven times give or take one or two um, one or two times because I've even at the, at the very beginning sometimes I go a little bit too quickly you know because I try to I try to maximize what I can do you know like I try to go as fast as I possibly can everywhere so even on the wooden bit you know like sometimes I go a little bit too quick and I crash into a wall or I fall off it or whatever you know so even those runs I count as as a run but yeah it's a it's a really really good car it's a very very good car I can't believe that this is now the king of the Golden Toge. I feel like it'll be dethroned. I feel like someone else is going to send me another tune for something ridiculous. Uh, a BOTB as well. I feel like that is a BOTB? BTOB? Bat to the, 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 Bat to the Blade, whatever it's called. Blade to the, I can't remember what that car is called. I don't think we've had that go around this track at all yet, but... Uh, yeah, super, super happy with the way this drove. Um, like I said, try it out yourselves. Let me know what you think. Right, let's move on to a different tune and see what else we got. Okay, I feel like since we've done something super crazy and OP and mad like this thing, that we could go kind of with the opposite or to the opposite end of the spectrum and pick something kind of fun and, and stupid, basically. So this guy sent me a, uh, a Chevy Camaro drift build and he's made it all-wheel drive. So, it's been such a long time since I've specifically picked 
an all-wheel drive drift tune because I don't really like to do them. I feel like they're a little bit boring and a little bit easy to drive. But it's something nice and lighthearted, nice and easy to drive, hopefully. So, yeah, anyway, here's the shake code 1188798888. Really easy to remember that one. Boom, search it. Oh, it's for the Copa Camaro again. Oh my god, everyone loves this thing. Uh, drift suspension, snow tire compound. Yeah, this this looks like it's going to be a good car for that. It's <laughs> yeah. This everybody loves the Copa Camaro, man. Everybody loves this thing. I don't think there's anybody that hates this car. There's been so many different types of tunes and things that people have sent me for this car. Um, obviously, it's a drag built Copa Camaro, but um, obviously people are are picking loads of different types of tunes for this thing. So it's uh it's kind of fun. To, to try uh, other things. So here it is, S2. Let's slap that on and try it out. Like I said, it's something light hard. It's something a lot easier to to mess around with now because it's just it's just something different. So it is all-wheel drive, but it's mostly rear bias, which is good. Yeah, it definitely feels all-wheel drive. It feels really, really slow. I don't know how you've done this, but you made it so it changes direction so slowly. That's what I call... something. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, man, I'm on sim steering as well. It's so slow, changing direction. That's actually kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's bring it on the gold... Oh, oh, I was about to call it the golden toge. Let's bring it on the, uh, the kind of Esther drift zone and see what sort of pointage we can get with this thing. And uh, have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see. The snow tire is let this thing slide forever, though. Like, <laughs> well, let me go again. Let me go again. That was just—it was just too fun to just hold this thing on a handbrake and just watch it like not slow down. <laughs> I love doing that with the snow tires. The snow tires are so good for that. I mean, the drag tires as well, of course, but... Um... Okay. Even though this is easy to drive, I still kind of need a... Uh, a little bit of a... of a warm-up with it. That feels odd. It feels odd in terms of, like, it not changing directions very quickly. <laughs> it just takes forever. It is so easy to drive, though. I'm kind of scared to, like, push it. Okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of good. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, like, how much angle can I like throw at this thing and have it like catch up? This is the thing with with, with builds like this. I feel like you shouldn't put drag tires on them. I mean, this one's like more of a like a mess around, half fun type of build, you know? It's not competitive or anything like that. I feel like these gear ratios are just incredibly long. Like if I stay in second, I just feel like I'm... I'm smacking off limiter too easy and I'm just a little bit slow. But it actually isn't the case. Second just seems to be good. I think I should just be driving around a second or third. I think second or third probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to wait about 10 minutes for it to change direction again. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice uh, and easy. Oh, man. I'm used to drifting around with drag tires, especially on on this section. 
due to the fact that, like, not that long ago, I was trying for top 1000 and trying to get better scores and all that, so. Drag tires are a little bit different with the ways the cars drive. Um, they sort of pick up speed a lot quicker. Um, and obviously slide a lot more when you're fully sideways with them. Um, and also they change directions much quicker as well. Like, this isn't a bad tune, don't get me wrong. It's just, it just feels awkward to drive, but it changes directions so slowly. That's pretty much it. Other than that, I think I have, I can have a lot of steering angle with it. I think that's, that's perfectly fine. That feels nice. I don't really, I'm not particularly uh, a big fan of the, the gear ratios, to be honest with you, either. I feel like second gear is too short and third gear is too long. If I had like a a 2.5 gear, that would be perfect. But it's not a difficult car to drive or anything like that at all. Oh, don't crush. Yeah, I do, I do like it. Like I said, it's a little bit more lighthearted than what we've just driven. Something so sweaty versus this, which is kind of just a little bit of fun. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and thank you both of these guys for sending the tunes over. I like both of them. I think they're both kind of fun to drive. Uh, well, one of them is super OP and very, very uh, challenging to drive. And it's not this Camaro, let's just say that. But it's obviously built for something completely different. And that is actually meant to be sweaty and, you know. Basically, it's built so it can be the fastest possible car on other truck, you know. Whereas this is more of a, here you go, have a little bit of fun type of vibe. I love them both. I really do. Thank you both for the tunes. Um, yeah, if you want to send some stuff over yourselves, uh, go over to the Discord down in the description box below. Join it. There's a specific channel for you guys to send over stuff. And, uh, of course, you can join the community and talk to everybody else and get trolled, which, which is what happens most of the time. Because you, you, you end up getting trolled a lot on the Discord. So, be ready for that. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.